The universe is truly immense and enigmatic. Its size has fascinated scientists and the curious for a long time. Although we don't know for sure how big it is as a whole, we can measure the size of the observable universe. This part is about 93 billion light years across. To understand this magnitude, it helps to understand that a light year is an astronomical measurement equivalent to about 5.88 trillion miles or 9.46 trillion kilometers. Therefore, the observable universe measures about 546.84 trillion trillion miles or 878.58 trillion trillion kilometers. This is an extraordinarily large amount and difficult to assimilate. The expansion of the universe is a fundamental concept to understand its size. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe arose about 13.8 billion years ago in an explosion that caused it to expand. Since then, it has continued to expand rapidly due to forces like dark energy, which is still a mystery to scientists. As the universe expanded, matter clumped together under the influence of gravity, forming stars, galaxies, and eventually planets, like Earth. Over time, these structures became larger and more complex, giving rise to the diversity of objects and phenomena that we observe in the universe today. It is important to differentiate between the whole universe and the observable universe. The entire universe, with a capital letter, encompasses all matter, energy, space, and time. In contrast, the observable universe refers to what we can observe from Earth. This slice is limited in size at about 93 billion light years across. Due to the finite speed of light, what we see in the observable universe are objects as they were in the past, their light having traveled thousands or millions of years to reach us. In addition, the expansion of the universe causes distant objects to move away from us, causing their light to be stretched and shifted towards the red end of the spectrum. The edge of the universe is an enigma without a definitive answer. Some theories suggest that the universe is infinite and lacks a discernible limit, based on cosmic isotropy. Another theory proposes that the universe is finite, but it curves in on itself without a defined edge. The idea of a multiverse is also raised, where our universe would be part of a larger set of universes. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we discovered the cosmic web, a structure composed of galaxies, filaments, and large-scale empty regions. This network shows us how matter is distributed and how galaxies evolve over time, arising from tiny fluctuations in the density of the early universe and amplified by gravity. Scientists have found filaments in the cosmic web of the early universe. These filaments contain quasars, which are bright galaxies with giant black holes. These quasars existed shortly after the Big Bang. An arrangement of 10 galaxies connected by a bright thread-like quasar has been identified. These structures challenge our knowledge of the cosmic web, suggesting that these filaments existed since the dawn of the universe. Furthermore, this discovery provides clues about the impact of black holes on their environment at that time. The James Webb Telescope has also made discoveries in the early universe and interstellar chemistry. He identified the first filaments in the cosmic web, showing how galaxies and groups of stars form. He also detected the essential molecule methyl cation in a disk around a young star in the Orion Nebula, a place where planets form. This molecule plays a fundamental role in the chemistry between stars and its discovery confirms its contribution to the formation of complex carbon-based molecules. This provides us with clues about how organic molecules are generated in disks around young stars, including the influence of ultraviolet radiation. These achievements highlight the ability of the James Webb Telescope to explore the mysteries of the universe and cosmic chemistry with great sensitivity. The James Webb Telescope has shown that galaxies removed dark gas from the early universe, allowing light to travel unimpeded. This process, called reionization, was a pivotal moment in cosmic history. Using James Webb, astronomers discovered that approximately 900 million years after the Big Bang, existing galaxies ionized the surrounding gas, rendering it transparent. 
Bubbles of ionized gas around these galaxies grew and merged, gradually transforming the universe into the transparent state we observe today. These early galaxies also surprised with their active star formation and unexpected structures, challenging what we knew about galactic evolution. By studying these ancient galaxies, James Webb provided valuable insights into their properties, masses, and compositions, as well as how they interact with their surroundings. These findings highlight how James Webb is revealing new details of the ancient universe, allowing astronomers to better understand how galaxies form and change. The James Webb Space Telescope Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey JADES, program investigates the past evolution of galaxies. It has identified hundreds of ancient galaxies, some of the oldest known, helping to understand how the first stars and galaxies formed. JADES uses the infrared capability of James Webb to observe distant objects whose light has been redshifted by the expansion of the universe. He has found galaxies with very high redshifts, demonstrating the effectiveness of the telescope in studying the early universe. Observed ancient galaxies are different from present ones, they are dim and young, with massive stars in formation that emit ultraviolet light that ionizes the surrounding gas. These galaxies are fundamental to understanding the origin of the first stars, the reionization of the universe, and its transition from a dark to a transparent state. Jades reveals complex and varied structures, showing stellar activities such as supernova explosions and mergers. It also measures the size of nearby galaxies, providing information about their growth over time. Thanks to its infrared sensitivity, JADES expands our understanding of the early universe and provides valuable data for future research. The James Webb Telescope studies galaxy formation by analyzing an initial group of seven galaxies in the early universe. These galaxies move rapidly within a zone of dark matter that is held together by gravity. Using his ADMIT instrument, he has measured these velocities to confirm the existence of this initial group. Furthermore, using spectral data and models, he predicted how this cluster would evolve over time, anticipating that it would transform into the coma cluster we observe today. This demonstrates how galaxies clumped together in the past and evolved into present-day structures. He also highlights James Webb's ability to study distant galaxies in the infrared. The telescope also looks at how galaxies change over time. In early galaxies, he found chaotic structures that grew rapidly due to gravity and gas. In more mature galaxies, he revealed regular shapes that indicate continued growth. He also observed closer galaxies with diversity in their shapes, but similarities to those in the nearby universe. These discoveries highlight the variety in galaxy formation at different times and how James Webb helps us understand their structure and complexity. The James Webb Telescope has provided valuable data on distant galaxies and the formation of molecules in space. For example, he discovered a carbon molecule called a methyl cation around a young star in the process of creating planets, shedding light on cosmic chemistry. The James Webb has improved our understanding of picking up subtle signals from distant sources thanks to its high infrared sensitivity. His advances in the understanding of galaxies and cosmic chemistry are due to his unique ability to observe in the infrared, revealing hidden aspects of the early universe. In addition, the telescope revealed details of the Pandora Cluster, a region located 3.5 billion light-years away. It detected distant galaxies and gravitational lensing phenomena, showing their presence in the images. He also explored the composition of the gas and dust in the cluster, providing information on temperature, density, and composition. He examined the diversity of galaxies in the cluster, showing features such as star formation and supernova explosions. These details help to better understand the evolution and interaction of the galaxies in the Pandora cluster.